have that one thin friend who is at her happy weight forever. I'm not talking about you, I was going to say thank you. <laughs> and if you're wondering her secrets, editorial director of Prevention Magazine, Anne Alexander, is here to spell them out for you. And you're going to show us what skinny people do, what they don't do, their habits. Is that right? That's Welcome. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So I, you know, I'm always curious about this. I have my skinny friend and I'm like, gosh. Well, she has a skinny lifestyle, I think. <laughs> well, you know, at prevention, we took a look and we realized that they think and they act differently. But the good thing is you can learn their secrets too. Okay. Yeah. The first one we have is they choose satisfied over stuffed. That's right. Well, most of us like to eat until we're stuffed. On a fullness scale, we head right to eight, nine, or 10. And naturally thin people, they stop around six or seven. But you can learn that too. You can develop your own sort of self-awareness around eating. That's a tough one. That's a tough That's one. That's a really hard one for oh, me. Oh man, yeah, well, I, I don't know if I can right. do that. Well, when you're, when you're sitting in front of a big meal, just stop about halfway through and decide, check in with yourself and see how, how full you are. If you're about six or seven, try stopping. Okay. I, this is gonna be a good challenge because I wanna go from pleasantly plump Oh. To thin friend. So here we go. The second one says they realize hunger is not an emergency. That's right. It's well, always an emergency to me. I know. Well, most of us, like we think, oh, I'm hungry. Let's, it's time to eat. Yes. But thin people realize that hunger comes and goes, and they sort of accept that. So it's, again, it's a thing that you can learn how to do. You can, say, you can postpone lunch, or you can skip a snack, and you realize you're going to be just fine. Mm. Mm. They don't, they, you also say they don't cure sadness with That's food. Right. Thin people tend not to eat their emotions. They don't try to fix what they're feeling with food. And at prevention, we talk about HALT. So HALT as in like put the cookies down, but HALT is also, H stands for hunger. If you're really hungry, eat. If you're angry, blow off steam, go kickboxing, go running. Mm -hmm. If you're lonely, call a friend. Go on Facebook, and if you're tired, of course, take a nap. So don't try to fix what you're feeling with food. Right. I like that, HALT. You have to remember that. That's a good yeah. one. I need to learn that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a really good one. It also says they eat more fruit. Is that that's right. right? Studies show they eat one serving more of fruit a day. And that's an easy fix. Right. You can just add whole fruit to your diet. Now, don't go to fruit juices because they're full of calories, they're full of sugar. So just pack fruit with you. I like to keep an apple in my car. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. I, I love bananas yeah. myself. There you have it. <laughs> yep. They're also creatures of habit, do you that's say? That's right. And this is really surprising because usually we talk about variety as the spice of life. Well, it's a good thing to eat the same foods over and over, and that's what thin people do. They pick foods they love, and they just keep going for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's interesting. I, I love, I am the guy who loves to switch it up and have something right. different. Mexican tonight, Italian tomorrow. So in those situations, I think the self-control gene is probably what helps there, right? Oh, self-control gene. If only we all had a self-control gene. Yeah. And that's what thin people really have. And this surprised me. It's the number one indicator for who will gain weight is how much self-control they have. Right. So self-control is also, though, something that you can learn. I was, you, gonna, was just going to ask that. Can you learn self-control? Yep. Well, you know, we talk about you can prepare and you can practice. So if you're going to go into a situation where you think, uh-oh, I'm going to be facing a whole lot of temptation, just prepare in advance. Like, eat a meal. If you're going out to dinner, order soup. So just prepare and practice in advance. You also say they are movers and shakers. This yeah. is good for you. You have hope. You have hope. I, I, I can still get here. He likes to dance. I am well, a dance machine. Well, good for you. See, Does that help me? I mean, I'm moving, absolute. I'm shaking. That's the right thing to do. And I shake cocktails a lot often as well. Is that helpful? Perfect. And do it standing up. Always. Because this is the thing that really shocked me with the research, was that thin people, they stand up two and a half hours more a day. And you know what that adds up to? 33 pounds a year in the number of calories burned. Man. And another shock, most of us are sitting or sleeping for 16 to 20 hours a day. And that's a lot of sitting or sleeping. Yeah, it so is. get up, get moving, do your shaking. Even yeah. at your desk, yeah. you can stand yeah, up. Absolutely. You can just stand up and walk, walk around, around right? take a break. Yeah. All right, and the last one, they also sleep well. That's right, because sleep affects your hunger hormones. If you're not getting enough sleep, you're gonna wake up tired and cranky and hungry. Yeah. And when you get enough sleep, it reduces your appetite. So that's a good thing. That's well, good. Thank you so thank very you. much. Thank you for all of these tips. Maybe I thank will you. become my thin friend. I think, I think <laughs> you should just start friend. calling me your thin friend from I now on. I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. Definitely. All right. Well, you can find more information on secrets of the naturally thin, like me, in Prevention Magazine.